2017 was a year of great challenge around the world, marked by conflict and political upheaval. But it was also a year of great accomplishment at Peace and Hope International, or as we are known in Latin America, Paz y Esperanza, a note that was made possible by you, our partners. Our efforts in 2017 featured our counseling and workshops in the Andes, where we help rural Quechua women exercise their social, economic, and political rights, enabling them to confront gender-based violence through developing small entrepreneurial initiatives oriented to reduce their economic dependency and improve their families' living conditions. We also continue to carry efforts to ensure quality intercultural education for Quechua children in Apurimac. In 2017, Peace and Hope programs in the Andes reached a total of 1,642 beneficiaries. Another key program was our work in the Peruvian jungle, where we helped deaf children and teens, their parents, siblings, teachers and friends to learn sign language so that they can communicate with effectiveness, which is essential for deaf citizens to exercise their fundamental rights despite the material scarcity many of them experience. Through the Healthy House of Good Treatment in Huanuco, Peru, Peace and Hope continued offering support to young survivors of sexual violence and their babies. The shelter offers integral rehabilitation services, including spiritual, psychological, and educational support, legal representation, adequate nutrition, and a safe place to live. Thanks to your support, this year more than 60 young survivors received treatment. As in Peru, in Ecuador, and Bolivia, we continue offering both prevention campaigns against human trafficking and sexual and domestic violence, and individualized attention to victims. Our office in Santa Cruz de la Sierra, in Bolivia, intervened in 365 cases of violence, 40% of which were of sexual abuse against children. 4,700 high school students and 40 justice operators participated in workshops focused on sexual violence prevention. In the Peruvian Amazon region, we increased our legal defense of the rights of indigenous communities where people suffer violence and threats from corporations that want to expel them from their lands. We provided free legal representation and psychological support to survivors of the internal armed conflict in Peru where, years later, families still continue looking for justice regarding massacres and systematic disappearance of innocent people. 2017 saw one of the worst mudslides in the coast of Peru. While news of other natural disasters around the world were highlighted in the media, this tragedy was largely overlooked. But we brought urgently needed relief assistance and built living modules for the survivors of the mudslides that affected the Peruvian coast. One of the most exciting events of 2017 was our expansion into Brazil, Chile and Colombia effectively growing the reach of the organization deeper into Latin America and setting the stage to provide a wealth of programs in these areas in the next years. All that we accomplished in 2017 was a direct result of your support. Gracias. We thank you for your commitment. And we ask that now, as we move forward and grow, you take time to give to this important work via the methods shown here. Thank you again for your partnership and prayers and for joining us in our passion for justice.